Hello everyone, uh, this second part here will be on a sign language. Uh, I was asked if I would eventually learn sign language in the future. Uh, well, uh, sign language is a language. It's, it's a language and I'm interest, very interested in it. But uh, as far as uh, independent study, I think it will be pretty difficult to study to study sign language independently because you need you you will have to have someone who really knows the language well. Uh, I don't know if I I don't know if I can say it's impossible to learn independently, but I think it would be ideal. I think it would be ideal to uh, find someone who who's really good at that language and practice with them until you get fluent in it. Um, I thought about learning sign language when I was younger. My my uh, my mom she had this this friend. This guy was uh, he was deaf. And I still remember whenever we got together with him, my sister, she, my younger sister, she knew sign language. She knew sign language quite well, and she was able to communicate with him through sign language. I thought it was amazing, and she probably forgot everything now. But um, yeah, sign language is definitely interesting. I, I, I would love to learn it. What I may end up doing is going to a community college here, take some classes. Uh, they have a really Columbus State Community College. Some Columbus State Community College. They have a really good uh, sign language program, so I think I'll um, take some classes there. Perhaps two quarters, or three quarters, or four quarters. How long? However long it's gonna take until I get fluent in it. Um, perhaps uh, I don't know. I meet some other sign sign language learners on the internet, and we could, you know, perhaps we can make a, you know, meet Skype or whatever, and have a chat in sign language just to practice. I'm not. I'm not sure how many. Um, those of you who are subscribers to my channel or have come to my channel, I'm not exactly sure how many of you um, have studied sign language in the past or know sign language. I know there was one guy. I can't remember his name. But there's one guy. He he does sign language. He does sign language. So uh, if there, are, if you guys learn a sign language, let me know, and I guess we can, you know, we can set up some some time. A meet up and get on Skype or whatever and we can practice sign language together of course of course once I get uh, better at it um, I know some basic stuff I'm not I'm not really that good at it but um, definitely I would, I would love to meet some sign language learners uh, so we can meet up and practice so um, yeah so we can stay sharp in the sign language but uh, anyway um, what do you guys think about that? Are you guys, uh, those of you who are learning sign language, what do you, what, what do you guys think about that? Um, I have a buddy now. This, this, this is not. Well, this is besides sign language. Um, I meet up with a guy. He's like, he's actually my Tibetan study partner. We meet up every day um, on the internet, two hours during, two hours uh, during the week, and on the weekend, like three hours, we practice Tibetan. So. I was thinking of doing something like that with uh, sign language learners. So if you guys are interested in doing something like that, just let me know and I'll be willing to do that. I'll be very happy to do that. So uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to take sign language courses. Uh, I have to see. Um, perhaps when I finish up, finish up my degree, I'll start taking some sign language courses. So uh, you guys just let me know and tell me what you think about that. If you guys are interested in learning sign language because I know I am. So. Um, this will conclude this video here, and uh, like I said, if you guys have any questions and if you guys have any questions or suggestions, just send me a message, let me know, and I'll um, I'll respond uh, ASAP. Thanks for viewing the video.